All right, guys, Matt here with Grand Slam Bagels. I'm here with Kevin. Today, we're going to be talking about the semifinals, our predictions for the Australian Open. It's going to be super exciting. Let's get started. Kevin, what are your thoughts on Djokovic versus Sinner? So Djokovic and Sinner, for all the bettors out there, betting odds for this is going to be negative 200 for Djokovic. So if you put about $200 in favor of Djokovic, then you can win $100. So take that as you will. We need to also take into account for the matchup, Sinner potentially having an abdominal injury last match against Rublev, <clears throat> which can play a factor in, in a three out of five set match. So uh, we'll see how that goes. With regards to their uh, matchup, they've played about six times with a four to two record in favor of Djokovic. They have never, however, played in a hard court Grand Slam. Uh, and the last three times they played against each other uh, were in an indoor facility. So in two of the three matches on that, Sinner has won. But, you know, we all know how well uh, Djokovic's mental game is in those Grand Slams, and it's on another level. So we'll see how this, this matchup plays. Yeah, it's going to be super exciting. You, you got this battle of, you know, experienced versus youth. You know, Djokovic has been around forever. He's proven time and time again. He is, you know, the safe bet to win this tournament for sure. Uh, Sinner, you know, relatively, you know, in the last couple months, I think he's been having a really strong game. He's kind of focused more, a little bit more than he has in the past. And he's been getting some better results. Um, pretty excited overall myself for those. Uh, what are your thoughts on Medvedev versus uh, Zverev? So betting odds on this one is negative 150 for Medvedev. So, again, if you put $150 down in favor of Medvedev, you'll win $100. So take that as you will. With this matchup, two similar players from the back with both great backhands. Uh, out of the 18 matchups they, they're played, they've played, their head-to-head -head record is 11-7 record in favor of Medvedev. However, an interesting stat is that they've never played a Grand Slam together. So, no three out of five set matches. So, which that can play a factor against, you know, two sluggers off the baseline. We all know how Medvedev can have those mental lapses that can also play a role. But we, overall, it's pretty good about recovering from those lapses. Uh, we'll just have to see this match. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one for sure. Let's get into some scoring predictions. I'm going to go with uh, Jokovic winning the first one in three sets. I think uh, Sender's going to come out there. He's going to, you know, give it a good effort. I think he's going to come out about four on the first set. I, the second set, I'm thinking Sender's going to bounce back a little bit, but still lose to Jokovic, Jokovic in the end. Uh, I think that one will be a tiebreaker. A third one, I think it's going to be an easy 6-2 for Jokovic. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a safe bet for sure, Matthew. Um so if Sinner is feeling well and is abdominal, there's no injury with that, I am going to go with Sinner in four as long as he does win the first set. An abdominal injury, in this case, being a physical therapist, you know, you're, you're huffing and puffing throughout a match. You're, you're playing 30, probably 30 second a minute points. So you're going to be definitely breathing, and your abdominals do play a role with your breathing. So if, if, all, if he's good with that, I'm going to go Sinner in four. But if he has an injury... It's going to go Djokovic in three, maybe even a potential withdrawal from, um, or a back out from the, ter from the tournament from center. Yeah, I think that'd be shocking to see a withdrawal, you know, this late into the tournament. I, I definitely think even if he is injured, he will play. Um, yeah, it just contributes so. more towards my theory of three. I hope so. Yeah, if he does play, it's going to be three set if he does have an injury. So that, I agree with that. Yeah, moving on to uh, Medvedev and Zariv. Score predictions for them? Medvedev is winning in five sets. I'm going to say that Zverev is going to come up and win the first two sets aggressively. Uh, he's going to play aggressive. He's going to take his chances. But I think the moment is going to be too big for Zverev because he's only played in one Grand Slam final back in 2020. Hasn't really been that relevant since until recently where he's come up pretty strong. Medvedev, you know, like I said, he, you know, his mental game can be a factor sometimes. But... He has that U.S. Open belt to kind of utilize for experience if he needs to. Yeah, I think he, I think he might lose the first set, Medvedev, but I think four to five is right where I'd picture it too. I, I do think Medvedev is going to win. I think the final, you know, moving into that will be Jokovic versus Medvedev. Um, that being said, I, I think that's going to be a very tough final. I think Jokovic will beat Medvedev ultimately in five sets. Would be my yeah, prediction. he has that experience, and I think Medvedev has doesn't really have that belief, in my opinion, to beat Djokovic. 
he um you he said before like he he respects them very well but you know i don't think he has that you know that burning kind of you know i can beat this guy and if you don't if you don't believe you're going to beat Djokovic, you're not going to win yeah in the past you know you've heard Djokovic go to several press conferences and he talks about people that refer to greats you know feder rafa you know, he talks about his desire to beat those players, and that's ultimately what got him here today. Is he put in that additional work? He analyzed their gameplay. He looked for weaknesses, and he adopted a style to his own gameplay. Changed that so he could go and beat those players. But for what you're saying, I do agree with that statement as well. All right? Yeah, Djokovic is on another level. So if he's able to win this match against Sinner, and it's Medvedev against him, I I don't see Djokovic having a problem with Medvedev. All right, guys, this is Matt and Kevin, and that was our score predictions for the tournament. We'll check back in with you guys later, see what the results were for the semifinals. See ya. Take care, guys.